Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for the Blinker 500. This is the last Super Speedway race in the schedule to see what playoff drama we could get with this track with high banking, speeds up to 190 miles per hour, three to four wide battles, and most importantly, the big one. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Ed Trunken in his first poll start of the year with Ryan Laney trying to get his second win of the season. In row two, Jenny McPillar, a championship contender, and the car who went upside down in the spring race with H.J. Hollis starting in fourth place. In row three, Carl Reeves in his first super speedway start with Bubba Wheelhouse. In row four, Terry Cargas and Master Dragon 4000. In row five, Bobby Swift, the defending race winner from last year, and Light McQueen trying to snap that 10 race winless streak. In row six, Phil Tankson and Brandon Power Car. In row 7, last week's winner, Daniel Suarez and Brian Spark. In row 8, Cal Wetters, the runner-up to the race winner, Steve LePage, in the spring race, starting with Jackson Storm in 16th place. In row 9, Colin Bargain and Cruz Ramirez in pink numbers for Breast Cancer Month. And starting in row 10 is Chase Race Alive. Here's the race format, 9 laps, 23.94 miles around the 2.66 miles super speedway oval and pit road speed is 55 miles per hour. The pace car is off the pits. Here we go with 88 plus thousand people from a bunch of other states ready to see everybody go 190 plus miles per hour. Ready to see some playoff drama and a bunch of things that you expect from Talladega Super Speedway. Here they come with 19 cars leading the field to the green flag and the Blinker 500 is underway. Ryan Laney already slingshotting with the race lead right now along with the number 4 J.D. McPillar. And the reason why Daniel Squares is uh, my name is highlighted in the uh, gold is because he has advanced to the next round of the playoffs. There it is on the left side of the screen. So the white ones are regular, the blue ones are still in the playoffs. They have not advanced yet. Jay McPillar trying to redeem himself from the last time he was here. He went upside down like I said in the pre-race starting grid. Ooh, Brandon Power Car almost went below the yellow line. And remember, you can't go below the yellow line because it's illegal. And also, you don't want to send a car flipping through the fence. Here's Carl Reeves, they say Holis, and Jane McKellar making it three wide in. Brian Laney leads the first lap of the Blinker 500. Going three to four wide in these tracks is pretty bonkers. And also dangerous because you don't even want to just do it. hurt somebody and then start spinning them all in the wrecking. Here's an on with Jay McPillar. Now here he comes to turn three. And Carl Reeves has moved up from uh, at least fourth or, or fifth place to second. Here's a spectator cam. We only use that for replays, but we decided to just uh, make it for uh, live runs for uh, this race. Carries is trying to tackle that first win, trying to prove that he belongs in the 2025 season. His runs are pretty impressive. He, he does well with of SHR equipment at Watkins Glen and in Pocono. Here's a look at Lightning McQueen. Currently dropping to the back. What's going on? Alright, here's a look at the playoff standings right now. As they're running, Lightning McQueen not looking good. He has not won yet. He choked at Kansas. And Chase Race Lot not looking good. He is all the way in the back. Meanwhile, if uh, Bobby Swift or Master Dragon 4000 wins this race, unless they could get up there, they're fine. They can move on to the next round at Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Martinsville. They're three to four wide behind the leaders. And Ryan Leamy is going to lead the third lap of the Blinker 500. 
That 21 car is pretty fast. And here's a look at a 4 wide battle and Cal Withers has moved all the way lower and get ready for the halfway jam. Turn one, Cal Weathers, Terry Cargas, and Chase Racelot get involved. There goes Chase Racelot going upside down, gun on a side, and barrel rolls once. The 68 HJ Hollis was involved with it. A lot of damage to the front of the 68. He is out of this. And huge championship implications for Chase Racelot. Here's a look at what just happened. So the 31 made a terrible block to the number 24. Collects the 68 and then they slam the turn one safer barrier and Brandon Power Car is able to make it through. And also the 24 just got turned on his side and and it starts barrel rolling. It kind of looked identical to Michael McDowell's near flip from at Daytona with the NASCAR Cup series. Here it is in full speed. The 31 just clipped the 24 and he got on the side and barrel rolls once. Another flip this year. Wow. You're riding along with A.J. Polis. Never seen anything like that in my life. That is absurd. Here's an onboard Brandon Power Car in the Game Bridge Chevy. He was able to dodge that below the yellow line. We'll be right back since Chase Racelot, Terry Cargess, and H.J. Hollis brings out the first caution of the day. Welcome back to the Blinker 500. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. And also we weren't able to complete all... The, of the remaining laps under green so we're gonna have one more lap so it's gonna be a green white checkered restart so the rules of overtime if the leaders get the white flag the next flag will end the race so it doesn't matter if there's a huge crash in the back straight away the race is over and if there's a huge crash or um, anything that brings out the yellow flag before the leaders catch the white flag they're gonna have to restart again hopefully you don't have a million overtimes because nobody just want to stay here for a long time hmm the tactics have changed for many of these other racers since they're going through a green white checkered so there's a chance that Ryan Laney might lose this race including Carl Reeves and Jay McPillar somebody in the back could just uh, do some tandem drafting behind them and then they could just pass everybody and then take away the race win from them all right they're about to restart double files so ryan lane will go to the out yeah the outside no it's the inside Carries goes to the outside and uh, ryan laney goes to the inside And also, Chase Bracelock, Terry Cargas, and H.J. Hollis are out of this race. That's the reason why they say out in capital letters in the scoring board. If Jay McPillar wins this race, he'll be locked in the playoffs along with Cruz Ramirez or Colin Bargain. The pace car is off to the pits. Meanwhile, 80,000 plus people are under feet ready to see who will win the Blinker 500. This will be the first green white checker restart here at Talladega. Overtime restart number one, the green flag is in the air. Carl Reeves leads the field to 
the green flag and he's already with the lead. Will Carl Reeves get some help from the 019 of Daniel Suarez or Ryan Laney will slingshot his way to victory. And apparently Ryan Laney's in the lead. Here's a look at the playoff standings right now. If Jaden McPillar is able to pass the number 21 in the 14, he will advance to the next round. Here comes Cruz Ramirez also trying to make a move, but you can't go below that yellow line because it's illegal. Ooh. There are three wide behind the leaders. Oh, Cruz Ramirez came out of nowhere. She is trying to reach the leaders. Side by side for second place, Bubba Wheelhouse versus Cruz Ramirez. Cruz Ramirez in that Rusty's Dynical car. The white flag is out one more time around here at Talladega Super Speedway. So the next flag will end the race. So it doesn't matter if it's a caution or the checkered flag. And Carl Reeves has dropped all the way to the back. Slams the wall. On the last lap. That's going to be a heartbreaker for the number 14. Here comes Cruz Ramirez trying to pass the number 21 of Ryan Laney. Here they are side by side through turn 3. Will it be Cruz Ramirez or Ryan Laney for the race win? Here they go, coming out turn 4 and entering the front straightaway for the final time. Will it be Cruz Ramirez or Ryan Laney? Now here they go, the fans are on the on their feet and re here they go, checker flag, Cruz Ramirez wins the Blinker 500. Congratulations to Cruz Ramirez for winning the Blinker 500 again. Wild finish. Really smart for the 51 team just to just go all the way from the back and then win the race. Heartbreaker for the 21 of Ryan Laney, including the number 14 of Carl Reeves. Colin Bargain, the earlier before this race yesterday during qualifying or final practice he thought he couldn't even do well in this racetrack but he finished in the top five way to go for him Here are the official results. Jackson Storm is the fastest car of the day with an average speed of 195.38 miles per hour. Here are the playoff standings after this race. The table has spun again with Cruz Maris' victory along with Chase Race and Light McQueen now below the cuff line after this race. So if Light McQueen doesn't win or finish in the top five, he will be eliminated along with Chase Race Line now in a must win situation after flipping in turn one. Next week, we're racing at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Hostile Takeover Bank Roval 400 for the second cutoff race and the last road course of the 2024 season starting next Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Canicat 127 signing out.